Hello friends, welcome to RK Tutorial. In this video, we are going to design a drop down menu. As you can see on the screen, uh, we have three section. Um, in the first section, uh, or you can see in the top section, uh, we have given a logo and there is enough space to put other things if you want. And in the second part, uh, we have given a drop down menu, navigation bar with a cool navigation effect and CSS gradient effect, hover effect and uh, font awesome icon which makes it more beautiful and in the third section we have uh, created a container whose height is 200 pixel right now you can um, uh, you can increase the height or you can keep height auto and the width is 1000 pixel which is in center and most of the people having problem like uh, they are able to create their uh, uh, drop down menu but uh, when they create they, they, the drop down menu works uh, perfectly but the rest of the things um, just uh, this welcome RK tutorial and ho, 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 hello everyone this this thing will move from uh, uh, here and there so this is a problem uh, when we go in mobile mode you can see uh, here is a button when you click, click on this button you will have uh, uh, options sub options in different color other options like this and you can just uh, hide display hide display hide and again in a in a desktop mode so it's very easy to de design this navigation bar let's just start coding so here uh, our page is drop down dot html i'm going to use this page and uh, I i'm going to use internal style sheet so let me save it as okay it is already saved now basic html5 structure Top type. sorry it's been not type So this is the basic HTML file structure and we are going to put something, a meta tag which makes it a mobile enable device, mobile enable web page. So name of the meta tag goes to viewport, this is the name of meta tag. Viewport and keep your content equals to width equals to device width. And initial initial scale equals to 1.0 this is the very important meta tag you uh, this is this is very necessary and now header here we will keep our logo nav option inside nav we will have unordered list inside unordered list we will have unordered list again sorry sorry uh, now we will have list anchor tag hash create five option give it like a room code videos about about and now last part is container section give it a class And inside container, we will have h1 tag. Welcome to RKQ Tutorial. And inside this, we will have a paragraph. Hello, 
how are you okay saved take the file path so you can see uh, our four five options is here home videos home core videos about okay it's a four option welcome to architecture hello everyone like this so i'm going to keep one more option projects maximum five option you can put in this navigation bar now i'm going to keep uh, internal style sheet style so first code will be asterisk and take margin zero adding zero now body body background color as e and uh, font size 16 pixel font family sensor comma error so this is the font back background so you can see the margin of uh, every element is just zero now, again now I'm going to put a class for nav class equals to nav right so first we will work on header part header um, thousand pixel height 120 pixel uh, position uh, no, non need position let's give margin zero or two so you can see when I change the color red you can see here is our top part and I'm going to remove this color I don't like and inside this we will have logo class logo so first I need a image img I have an image in the same directory which is png this is this image size is exactly the same as I want so this is my image uh, logo architectural which is appearing at the top I want to give some margins and padding so I will give it position absolute right and from left uh, 20 pixel and from top 30 pixel okay uh, so we need to give a uh, position to header uh, related because we have given in so this is a parent element header and uh, if you are giving absolute anything inside the parent so your parent must be relative now let's see fine and the second part nav class nav right dot nav inside nav we have uh, so nav the width of the nav will be 1000 pixel height will be 60 pixel and margin will be 0 okay. save press now you can see here it's appearing now this time to work on style uh, list list and this is style none and uh, width of each list will be 200 pixel because we have given width 1000 pixel to our nav so we can divide uh, uh, into 200 pixel because we have five list right and line height will be 60 pixel and uh, uh, position will be relative this is very important uh, uh, picture attribute and uh, background color will be hash this is a dark black and uh, box shadow is a pixel 2 pixel 
pixel four pixel gray and uh, text line center save this thing refresh so you can see here uh, our uh, list is appearing like this so we need to give a float here float left and uh, let me see it's okay it's fine it's appearing float left and uh, again take background and give a linear gradient linear gradient and take a dark red dark red is the color and it will be 20% I'm going to mix two color and black black will be 80% now it will be 100% so you can see the effect is appearing like this now so this is a nav and we need to give a border radius 5 pixel and here too we need the nav your ally so uh, i don't want uh, so my list uh, I, don't, I want to create a border radius here here and in these four corners right so i need to select the first one of minute of type one right so I'm targeting this first list okay border radius uh, five pixel then zero pixel it is in clockwise again zero pixel and then five pixel so you can see here radius yeah it's appearing fine and similarly we have to give here just copy it and uh, give it I'm going to uh, uh, target uh, the fifth element so I'll take here fifth and zero give it five here five and zero here now it's up here Nav, UL, Eli, then anchor tag. Inside anchor tag, take the color uh, white. Okay, color white and uh, width take width to uh, 200 pixel. Height take 58 pixel and display lock i uh, just remove this one because it helps in uh, in the drop down option because we in the drop down option we will have this in this situation so th this will work for both right give a text decoration None. Here. now we need font awesome icon and and class equals to font awesome font awesome hyphen home right copy this paste it here 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 and here change it to code and change this to list and change this to file icon video and change this to info uh, you can't see the icons because we have not given any font or some link in our script so we need a font or some uh, uh, link style sheet for this uh, just uh, visit the website web script dot info
Okay, in this website. Scroll and you will see here HTML5 and just click here in HTML5. Okay, and inside this you can see CDN JS Cloudflare. So you will need to copy this link. This link. Just copy this from copy and paste in the header. Right? So this is a font awesome link. Now it will work. Save it. Refresh. So you can see here uh, icons is appearing but there is no gap between the text and icon so i'm going to give a five pixel margin from right so take a font awesome font awesome and margin from right five pixel okay now it's good Now we need to give a ULLI when someone hover in a list then ULLI ok ok not here so this is our anchor tag and when someone hover in our anchor tag over. so what we will do we will just change the font uh, weight font weight will be bold you can see here it's good and what we'll do we'll give a bottom border border hyphen bottom 2 pixel solid white now you understand why why i have given 58 pixel this 58 plus 2 becomes 60 pixels so height of the uh, uh, list is 60 pixel now you will see ok it's not like that as I want Okay, the problem is uh, here here we have given block uh, we need to create inline block right refresh now it's appearing it's uh, it's exactly 60 pixel 58 plus uh, 2 pixel white bigger border right now it's fine now we need to create uh, on our uh, sub list so for code I'm going to create sub list Said you will we'll have li anchor tag href hash and java script copy this paste it here give it still 5 CSS 3 right refresh you can see here it's appearing and we need to adjust this for mobile too so for this here is our list uh, li list and float left and just after this ul li and then ul we have to give position absolute Save it and so you can see here my welcome we have written a welcome to architectural this is uh, from here to move here so when we refresh after giving absolute this will uh, it's fine right and here you can see the as 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 it, as it is first list that's why here is a radius border radius I don't want this what I will do I will just take it from nav ul li of type 1 okay 
so you can see here we have given ULLI and we are changing the border radius uh, so in this case inside uh, nav uh, ULLI all the ULLI is affected so I need to target directly a particular uh, list in a serial order like this now it will not affect the sub list here you can see the border radius and uh, now it will it is not here now it, it is fine you can see this is gone now everything is okay now uh, we are going now we are going to work on this uh, sub list uh, mobile mode so for this i will just write a media query at the rate media screen and max width 480 pixel is a standard mobile device size okay now first uh, take this one header just copy this thing from top okay we are not going to target in this way um, individually just take header from here and paste here and instead of giving with 1000 pixel just give it 100% and uh, height keep your height auto mm, remove your margin because margin will be same as like earlier and position will be same as like earlier now we are going to target uh, logo is same nav take this nav and paste it here So in this in this case nav will be 100 pixel 100% and height will be auto this will be same like earlier so remove this now let's see the output so you can see here this is output and everything is just height is 120 pixels sorry uh, height is uh, we are not we need, we need to change height of header save now it is fine and uh, now we are going to target this list copy this and paste here in the media query give a little tab so this thing uh, will be same like earlier width will be changed into 100% uh, line height will be same like earlier position will be same like earlier and background will be same like earlier okay box shadow uh, text line float so this will be same but float will be not none it will be none and background will be same like earlier refresh you can see here it's fine but you can see the width uh, of anchor tag because of anchor tag we have given 200 pixel no, we need to adjust here so take anchor tag your li anchor tag and your width percent refresh now it is fine okay but our sub list is not appearing here what we need to do just take ul li and insert ul and li and give it a position so we have given position absolute now i'm going to give uh, make it like a static default display block so as you can see uh, as you can see sublist is not appearing here the code sublist is not appearing here because it is absolute yeah, because of absolute position absolute uh, that's why it is not appearing because we have given list uh, list style absolute you can see yeah you can see here ul inside inside ul we have li and inside inside li we have another ul and we have given position absolute so i need to change the position for this we have given here 
ul li ul but not uh, we don't need to give li right position is static so we change it to absolutely static now it will work so you can see here sublist of sublist of code is appearing in javascript still has this. so we need to make difference or changes here let's start li ul li and a anchor tag background color will be black dark black okay right not dark black it's dark gray you can see here and uh, so let's uh, give it some hover effect this anchor tag ul li anchor tag a when someone hover uh, so another ul li um, so what we need to do just keep hidden uh, others okay take it from like this is ul inside li and we have ul just remove this li and display give it display none right just full screen refresh so it's not appearing fine and when someone over li inside li anchor tag h over so another ul will display lock right save it so you can see here okay it's not appearing it's a big problem refresh uh, li tag when uh, i think uh, we have given anchor tag here and hover effect that's why this hover effect is applied this uh, uh, priority of this hover is higher as compared to this one so instead of hovering this anchor tag i'm going to hover just list and uh, okay display none right fresh so you can see it's fine and if you want you can put more uh, sub options look good now script and uh, uh, I just need to take a, a, a one line jQuery code a uh, one line a CDN of jQuery this is a jQuery CDN just take it from here and paste just after the HTML structure and what we need to do um, just take a this is a logo and inside uh, this header will have a uh, one more option div spam class equals to font awesome font awesome hyper list okay, save it this one this one so you can see here just display close this and you can see here a uh, menu option is appearing here okay what I will do just take font awesome uh, hyphen this and one more class modify and add this class here modify so this is another class modify display none so it will not appear in a full screen mode and font size will be 35 pixel position will be absolute and from right it will be 0 pixel okay let's see so just remove this right now display none fresh as you can see here and it is here mm, from right give uh, 20 pixel and from top give uh, 50 pixel a little more 30 and 
top 60 save it's fine one more thing then someone hover so it will show a hand pointer like this okay fine and give it a class class equals to menu right take a variable menu equals to false dollar dot uh, menu and some click on menu we will run our function and if menu will go to false if this condition is true so what I will do dollar select uh, so what is the so this is actually nav right so take nav and uh, fade in and make the variable true okay in else part just do a reverse copy and paste here just do fade out and make the variable false right it's working it's getting problem refresh now okay, instead of uh, taking menu just take when someone click on uh, fa fa list modify right a list dot modify right save refresh fine it's working very fine now we need to remove this display none and in case of mobile take this put it down here display block refresh and what we need to do display Whenever we will have, we will in the mode, not to display. No. Hmm, something wrong. Not here actually. Now display. No. Refresh. So it's fine again let's try everything is okay okay it's fine and uh, sub option okay we have sub option and core multi options here you can see and by this we can hide the menu we can dis display the menu everything is good now work on container position not position thousand pixel height for now 200 pixel and margin zero auto press uh, pad. padding from uh, 20 pixel 20 pixel now it's fine yeah good so one more problem is here 
uh, this is scroll bar this is extra scroll bar we don't need this scroll bar it's because of container container with the width 100% and give the height auto so now there is one little more width so what we will do just take the body body and overflow x axis will be hidden now you can see no uh, horizontal scroll bar anymore it's fine So you, you will get the code and source code of this uh, navigation bar here in this website. Here when you drop down, you scroll down, you will have tutorial section and here we upload all the uh, video related source code. Till now I have not uploaded but soon you will get here. And don't forget to like here.